Hello, Gemini. It looks like a truth that you convince yourself of happened to actually be false or opposite about one person in particular. Let's dig in to see where this goes. <music> Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Gemini Tower reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Sometimes more make an appearance. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Be the bridge. Expand your consciousness to behold both worlds. Number 50. One. This feels like uh, an awakening and an awakening event. Oh, okay. So, um, I, f I feel like this is uh, Gemini masculine. I'm I'm reading for today. Um, this is the masculine realizing that in a situation that he perceived that one was right and one was wrong, it turns out both were right. Or it was the opposite. That both can be correct at the same time. It's not black and white. It's actually gray. Okay. Show me what the complementing energy is to be the bridge for Gemini, please. Sixteen. What you want wants you. So fifty-one reduces to a six, sixteen to a seven. So we are moving along a progressive timeline here. They want me to use this one. Okay. Give me this one for Gemini, please. Show me what's going on with Gemini. Oh, you could have convinced yourself that um, someone you didn't give a whole lot of attention to really wanted you. And now you realize that. Or you could have thought they only wanted you for something specific and that wasn't true. Whatever you convinced yourself of either the opposite is true or the other option is also true. It's not the thing. It's not how you've convinced yourself that it is. Death card of Scorpio there underneath. Ah, that's why. Okay. Four cups. <laughs> that makes sense. That's that dope energy. <laughs> King of cups, Scorpio energy, star card of Aquarius, high priestess card of Pisces. King of Wands, Leo Energy, Two of Cups. Oof. So, Four of Cups, uh, one of the many standard meanings for Four of Cups is highlighting a divine opportunity, that which you're not seeing but need to be open to. You didn't, you didn't see that what you wanted wanted you. Okay, I'm going to read this side as you. This is the person you're connecting with. This is a situation. So this person, this person loved you. They could, of course, have water in their chart. This person loved you. Um, they knew that the connection with you was a soul bond. Okay. Um, this side is you, Ace of Pentacles, Star, Card of Aquarius, King of Wands, Leo Energy. There's... There's a determination to restart, but this feel like this already ended. Yeah, there it is. Ah, there were two queens, huh? Someone had two queens. There was also this in wrestling with the idea of comfortable versus passionate, like you couldn't have both. You could have both. You totally could have both. Ah, there's the realization that you could have had both. Okay. <laughs> so, 
But disappointment lying between you, though. This divine opportunity. It looks like that which was not taken. Show me what's happening here with the Four of Cups. Please show me what's happening. Uh-huh. Five of Pentacles. The Wheel. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Five of Cups. Six of Wands. Eight of Cups. Okay. Eight of Cups. Prince of Cups. Okay. Um, this person made the call to disconnect. To take a risk elsewhere despite whatever unhappiness she may feel to disconnect. Okay. Um, this is this was a victory for her on her soul journey where it comes to checking off the list of lessons learned. Okay. Whatever lessons presented themselves here in the connection between you. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. But it's clearly a lost connection. It's very clearly a lost connection. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Ah, so not wanting to go near anything new because of something you already have. You've got King of Swords, uh, Card of Aquarius, Hierophant, Card of Taurus, Tower, Card of Scorpio. Show me the star, please, here with this Aquarius energy. Ah. Yeesh. Death, Card of Scorpio, Three of Cups. A connection could have been downgraded or stopped at the level of friendship when it was in fact a faded connection that was meant to grow. Show me the King of Wands, Leo energy, please. Eight of Pentacles, Sun, Prince of Wands, Lovers. Oh, really? This is very much that uh, energy of um, don't know what you got till it's gone because now I see you here scrambling to recover the sun and the lovers. Okay. The sun is Leo energy, of course. Lovers card of Gemini. You know, trying to recover that passionate connection. Hmm. So you, you know this person is super attractive. There's that star again. Show me what's going on with this person, please. Let's start with the King of Cups. You both have the King of Swords. Three of Wands. Oh, okay, so they've decided that if any risk is going to be taken in this connection, they're going to wait for you to take it. That any chance to recover, resurrect, or restore. Show me the High Priestess card of Pisces, please. The world. Star, star. Nine of Swords. Chariot card of Cancer, Two of Cups. So this, this feminine is, is acknowledging that the cycle is closed. The only way it can open is if you open it. All right. Um, the cycle has closed on this faded connection that was not properly launched into existence. And I see her moving her heart space forward. She has 
reduced herself to viewing the connection with you from the mind instead of the heart. The heart is moving in the direction of, an, of a Two of Cups. And she's got it here twice. Show me the Two of Cups at the bottom, please. Hmm. It looks like you're going to try to circle back here. Hmm. Do we have all four kings here? Yes, we do. So there is a two of cups going to be manifested into a new investment here. Show me a little more about this king of coins. A little more about the king of coins. Moving in a stable connection, there are feelings here. It's going to move a little bit on the slow side until the passion kicks in. It's a similar, that, that, that detail right there is similar in the Taurus reading. So if you have Taurus in your chart, definitely check that out. Huh. So if she's bringing in new what's coming in for you Gemini what's coming in for you okay go after her or not hmm There's something here where rhythm, like uh, speed, it needs to be altered. This person cannot be pursued slowly. Too much time has been wasted here. Okay. Um, I, I see you moving toward them with, show me the seven of caps. Okay, you're watching and waiting on when to when to jump in and pursue this person. Okay. Okay. So I will head over to the extended and I'll look into them. And we'll see what's going on with her in her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.